Episcopal Church in the Diocese of Michigan, and I am in awe of the responsibility. Um, I'm very, very, very excited. I feel like I have been preparing for this call for the last 30 years of my ministry, and I know that the only way that we will be effective witnesses of Jesus in the southeast corner of Michigan as if we all work together and so I'm very much looking forward to getting to know all of the people. My goals, I, my first goal is to get to know the people in the 77 congregations of our diocese. I think any vision that I come up with is going to have to be completely and utterly generated uh, with the people who are here. Uh, to not just think people are going to walk through our doors because we've opened them. To not just think people are going to walk through our doors because we've opened them, but rather to be out in the midst of our faith communities, living what we say we believe, acting it out, um, embodying it, and and then and then connecting with people. Justice of Michigan, I am the first woman to be called to this position. I'm also happen to be the first out uh, lesbian to be called to this position, and um, again, I think. What that shows is, I don't think this diocese is about labels. I think we're about people, who we are and how we are, and who God is calling and creating us to be. And I know that this is a diocese that has had a long, long history of including everyone. So I think people were also excited that I happen to be someone who is uh, partnered with a woman for 32 years. Susan and I have been together, been married as long as it's been legal in our country. And again, I think it's about including everyone. That's what matters. I think that's what Jesus does. That's what matters. I think that's what Jesus does. That's what matters. I think that's what Jesus does. That's what matters. I think that's what Jesus does. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem. Recha ha kwadash and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom. Also honors to you, brethren, you, you that's following the truth, you families that's following the truth, and mainly let me say shalom to the elect. Anyway, I came across this article here. It's called uh, the Michigan Episcopal Diocese welcomes first female openly gay bishop okay so we know the sensitive nature of this particular um, article or topic but I wanted wanted to know did vocab Malone even consider even doing uh, some type of review on this article and I wonder what he thinks about it because clearly we see nothing of that nature dealing in defense of the gospel that he says he's supposed to be doing I don't know if it's just because it's it's all about Hebrew Israelism or I, I don't know I don't think he cares about anything else clearly c clearly these guys aren't prophets and they're not preachers because a preacher is a prophet um, they have a job to do and uh, most of their videos, when you see some type of, um, whenever they bring some type of celebrity on, or some uh, some well-renowned figure, they always got. If you notice this, they always got a bookshelf in the back with all the books. See, that's subliminal. That's to, uh, to make you think. If you're on the fence of of where you want to go, their job is set up by the Lord on the left hand side to say, "Hey, I don't want to believe it." I, I kind of thought I believed in Deuteronomy 28, but that can't be true. Let me let me go on back to Christianity. So the Most High is using him, okay, as that vessel or as that tool to uh, weed out, you know, the ones that don't belong where we're at, okay. Anyway, so I looked at this page, 
David Wood, uh, a Jewish Christian. I'd probably have to do a video on that on Odyssey. <laughs> That's another video. Um, disproving the Hebrew Israelism. Okay. Announce a doctrine for the block. Uh, that's what this guy is. Now, if he did this as a personal thing, okay, the, the battle against the Hebrew Israelites, that's fine. That's what I do. I, I come against false doctrines. But I will be out there teaching every week. I will be out there prophesying. You know, I'm out there for my belief prophesying, you know. Um, prophets, that's what they did. So clearly we can see that these guys, I'm looking at this channel, nope. Nothing of the, of the take. You know, this is all pure entertainment and distraction. It's all these guys are. Um, it's not working, though, because there's so many uh, is Israelite camps. It's not working. So it brings me to the first. I want to go to the book of Job. I want to go to the book of Job and, and start on that first. Let's go to Job uh, 27 and 7. It says, let mine enemy be as the wicked. Okay, it says, let my enemy be as the wicked. And he that riseth up against me as the unrighteousness. Unrighteous, right? So it says, let my enemy be as the wicked. And he that riseth up against me as the unrighteous. Okay? For what is the hope of, a, of the hypocrite, though he have gained so he have gained when Yahweh take away his soul, right? So you got a lot of these guys, not just him. You got a lot of these guys uh, who are enemies to the to the um, to the the body, right? Um, the enemies to Yahweh Shah, okay. So at the end of the day, you have our people who subscribe to that. And we'll stand there with um, a vocab who comes up against us. So you have our people who subscribe to vocab's teaching and his doctrines, right? Uh, it says, though he have gained, he gained a couple of dollars, a couple of viewers. It says, when Yahweh taketh away his soul. And, you know, you got the K-dubs, you know, um, the brother, the brother J's. And the various other um, guys that's with him, right? So uh, it, this this whole chapter is good, um, but I just wanted to touch on this. I just wanted to know: Will vocab Malone touch on this or anything like this? You know, it's just a question: Is it biblical, right? Is it script? Is it scriptural? Is it biblical? Uh, I, they're in the doctrine that God loves everyone and, and anyone can be saved right so um, it would be something to hear a video or something like this dealing with this topic now they'll go do a quick little short video possibly on something of the nature but then they'll go right back to doing what they do okay as it gets old to go approach camps and you know it's not going nowhere, but you keep doing it anyway. Why? Because it looks good for the viewers. Okay, this is all a show. You know, that's all it is. It's all a show and a hook. Psalms 94 and 20. Okay, it says, all right, where are we at? Psalms 94 and 20. It says, shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? Right? which frameth mischief by law. Okay? So basically, can someone who's corrupt be with you? Right? That make these kind of laws. Right? So if this man is not saying anything about it, then we understand what it is. Right, and, then, and I don't have to make a long video over it. It just, it's uh, real simple. It's real easy, real easy to understand. Okay. So anyway, um, in the spirit, I don't have anything else to say on it. My again, my question is, uh, will vocab do a video or at least talk about the discussion? And the reason why 
you know, we say dangerous Christianity, right? Because the Lord said he's not an author of confusion, but of peace, which means of quietness. You know, we are the only ones, and I say a great millstone, that really stand on it in the defense of the doctrine. We're the only ones that do that. Is this lawful according to the Bible? You know, we uh, I mean, where's the scriptures in Le Leviticus, the 20th chapter? Where's Romans, the first chapter, right? When are these Christians going to stand up and defend the doctrine? In order to defend it, right, you have to be a part of it. So if you're a part of it, you know, you'll defend it or you have to be in agreement to it. I mean, if you're not in agreement of it, there's no reason for you to defend it. Are you going to stand up and uh, defend what you believe? Or are you going to just slide on past that and worry about men with garments and, uh, and a, you know, a 12 tribe sign and talk about them? That's the threat. Because if it wasn't a threat, then they would not be doing it. And he says he's, it's estimated that a million, there's a million Hebrew Israelites, right? Not to mention the ones that don't go out, you know, the, the women, the, you know, men, women, children, families. It, it's, it's more than what he thinks, you know, and this is just here. We're talking about all around the globe. And as the awakening process continue, it's going to be more than what he can imagine. And this is why his job is to keep the the, uh, the Christian church going. But it's it's old. It's not doing anything. You know, you're gonna still have a, a great great follower of Christians. But remember, the Christianity is went from so great, the biggest religion on the planet, to so many people dominating the world that in the amount of time that you've seen, even in the last ten years, in the last decade, they've lost a lot of so-called fellow believers. Right. Um, let me let me get a scripture real quick. Let's go to Hebrews real quick, and I'll close it up um, because this all makes sense. If if it's of the Lord, it's going to stay. If it's not, it doesn't. This is why we don't got to run up on Christians. Now we may go up and ask them some questions and see where they're at, and if they can't defend it like they normally can, then what's the use? Hebrews twelve and twenty seven. And this word yet once more signifying the removal of those things that are shaken, like a lot of Christians that, I mean, a lot of Israelites who drop out, like out of GOC, IUIC, wherever, and they go right back to the Christians, right? Seven more spirits more wicked than themselves. Okay, it says, as of things that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Okay, wherefore we receive in a kingdom which cannot be moved. Let us have grace whereby we may serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh acceptably, acceptably with reverence of and godly fear. For our power is a consuming fire. And that's it. You know? The truth, the elect is going to remain. This is why you don't see us with big panels and asking Christians, why did you leave, son? Or, or sir, why did you leave? Or the sister, sister, why did you leave Christianity? When somebody comes to being a Hebrew Israelite, we already know. Anyway, that's all I have on that. Shalom.